Okay, in this video we're going to look at equivalent fractions and here's example one and here's example two so um, example one it says write each, each fraction as an equivalent fraction with denominator eight now remember a fraction has a numerator over the denominator All right. So the denominator is the bottom down. Okay. And so what I want is I want to turn this half into a fraction that has an 8 on the bottom. Okay. So if you think about inches, um, one half of an inch is how many eighths of an inch, right? And let me ask you this 2 multiplied by what gives 8? 2 multiplied by 4, right? So if I multiply 2 times 4, I get 8. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to multiply the top by 4 because then if I did that, you see, I would get 1 times 4, that's 4 eighths. And do you know that 4 eighths of an inch is the same thing as 1 half, right? So the answer is 4 eighths, isn't it? And just to check it, of course, if you were to, uh, if you were to break that down, 4 eighths, 4 into 4 goes once, 8 and 8 goes twice, and that of course is 1 half. Okay, so 4 eighths is definitely equal to a half, right? So how will I change 3 quarters of an inch to uh, eighths? Mm -hmm. Equals what over 8? Let me give you a hint. You've got to multiply the bottom by something first of all. 4 times what gives 8? 4 times 2, right? And what do I times the top by now I have to times stop by 2 as well because 3 quarters you see 4 times 2 is 8 and 3 times 2 is 6 see 3 quarters is the same thing as 6 eighths isn't it and so that's the answer now if I was to check that you see 6 over 8 will break down see 2 into 6 goes 3 times 2 into 8 goes that 4 times uh, that becomes 3 quarters which is the same thing so 6 eighths must be equal to 3 quarters but it it looks different. It has it has eight eight as a denominator, but it's it's an equivalent fraction. It's the same like six eighths and three quarters. They're equivalent fractions, but they look completely different. I mean, they have different bottoms. They have different tops too, but they are the same thing. I mean, there's no difference between the size of them, so to speak, the length of them, right? Okay. The length of the measurement, say. Okay, so how, how would you change five halves into eighths? And then how would you change one quarter into eighths? Press pause and do both of those and then I'll do it. Okay, to change the five halves into eights, I would need to multiply the bottom by four. If I multiply the bottom by four, I must do the same thing to the top because five halves, two times four is eight and five times four is twenty. Five halves is the same thing as twenty over eight. Okay, to turn a quarter into eighths, I need to multiply the bottom by two. And I must then multiply the top also by two. And so I get four times two is eight, and one times two is two. So one quarter is the same thing as two eighths, right? So let's look at examples two. It says write each fraction as an equivalent fraction with denominator 24. Okay, so let's start with one sixth. Um, I want to write that as a fraction with denominator 24. So now, let me ask you this. 6 times what gives 24? 6 times 4, isn't it? Right? And if I multiply the bottom by 4, what do I need to multiply the top by? 4 as well, right? So 6 4 is 24, and 1 times 4 is 4. So 1 6 is the same time as 4 over 24, so that's the answer, 4 24 ths and um, if uh, what's give me an equivalent fraction of five twelfths. Uh, by the way, why are we doing this? Uh, <laughs> we're doing this because we have we're going to have to add and subtract fractions soon. In which case, we have to uh, be able to write equivalent fractions. Okay, so we need to do, we need this for adding and subtracting fractions. So twelve times what gives twenty four? 12 times 2, and I must multiply the top also by 2, right? 
because 5 twelfths is the same thing as 5 times 2, 10 over 12 times 2, 24. 5 twelfths is the same thing as 10 over 24. So please press pause and do this one and this one. Write each of these fractions as an equivalent fraction with denominator 24. Okay. So remember you've got to write get 24 in the bottom for each of these. Okay, so what do you multiply the bottoms by? Well, 3 times 8 is 24, and must multiply the top by 8 too, so that becomes 16 8 24 and 8 times 3 is 24, and I must also multiply the top by 3. So 21 24, right?